Okay, I'm going to once again try to summarize a very complicated series of events that I recorded on several audio recordings that are now almost impossible to understand. I've reached Strakonice. I am absolutely overjoyed that that message I ended with, Wahoo, Wahoo, Wahoo. It, I was, it, is, the, it is the farthest distance that I managed uh, thus far, farther than day one and day two. I actually made my goal. I didn't have to adjust it at all. So I went down into the city and realized that it was a very big city. The, and basically I had walked into a urban trap because by the time I got in, I had to go to a post uh get some water, had to ask directions a little bit, and I realized that I was in the center of a rather large city and that it was getting dark fast. I needed to get out, get away from civilization enough in the hopes of finding a hunting platform in a very short amount of time. A, a new thought occurred to me. I actually was desperate enough to go to the nearest, to the, to the main train station that was in the center there and try to figure out if it would be open all night in the thoughts of, of just staying in the train station, you know. Um, there, there were two or three um, homeless guys there hanging out, and I actually went to the ticket counter and asked, you know, are you open all night? And he said, no, you know, we, we close it at, uh, at 12. I said, oh, so, and then you throw everyone out, right? And she said, yeah, yeah, we have to throw everyone out. <laughs> I don't know what she thought about that kind of question. But, so then I realized, okay, I've just got to book it for the trees before it gets absolutely pitch black and started going up the hill, out out of the city, just looked for the, the hills and the horizon, just went for it. Um, you know, I, I was getting very, very desperate at that point. I, I was panicking almost because I knew that the ground was wet, I needed to find a hunting platform, and yet as I looked out into the horizon and increasingly got closer to the horizon, I could see that there were, you know, houses scattered farther and farther into the hillsides. And the chances of there being a hunting platform for men with rifles next to these houses was very unlikely, even being in Czech Republic. So I was really starting to despair. Um, I said a quick prayer. I said, God, I believe that you will give an answer. And then in a desperate voice, just please hurry. <laughs> I, I didn't know what I was going to do. As I was going up the hill and still just stuck in my head, I have got to get to the trees. I suddenly realized as I was talking about, you know, being in the train station, the homeless guys there. Wait a minute. They're homeless guys back in the train station. You know, when the train station closes at midnight, they have to go somewhere, right? And why not ask them where they're going? This was a remarkable thought because suddenly I realized, you know, the first night I had been under a tarp in the forest. The second night I had found a hunting platform and been there. The third night I had gotten stuck in an urban trap. Why not take the opportunity, this being extrav, to adapt to the situation that I found myself in? And who knows better how to rough it in a city than people who are homeless? I was basically homeless at that point, so were they. Why not go hang out with them until the train station closes, ask them where they go for shelter, and go with them and spend the night with them? This was a new thought for me and opened up a, a, a big world of possibilities for future extrav. I actually stopped there, turned around, said, okay, I, I'm, I'm going back to the train station. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with this. I don't know where this is going, but that is the point, you know. Adapt to the environment that you find yourself in, to be extreme, to face your fears, um, to allow things to be a little bit outside of your control and to go with it. Um, so
so I left that final clip on the note that I'm going to talk to these homeless guys, ask them if I can stay with them wherever they have shelter for that night. Um, I probably won't be able to make a final recording this tonight because I don't want to show a, a digital camera in front of them for obvious reasons, but that I will let you know how it goes as soon as I have a chance to talk to you again. And that was it for that. Now, you're ready to watch the next clip.